This presentation is an insight into the basic principles and methods that are used along with standard practice when installing ground gas membranes. We will provide an overview on the range of ground gas membrane products and the tools and techniques required to complete a successful installation of ground gas membranes. This video does not cover the complete installation of a ground gas protection system, which also includes building structure and ventilation requirements. Our range of ground gas membrane products include Memtech M1 Membrane Memtech R1 Radon Membrane Memtech Titan VOC Membrane Memtech Liquid Gas Barrier LGB Memtech Gas Tape 50 Memtech Gas Over Tape 150 and Memtech Detailing Strip When working on areas where the gas membrane has been laid, it is important to be mindful of treading on locations where you could damage the seam lines of the gas membranes. It is also important to confirm the substrate you are working on and that it is appropriate for the gas membrane installation and safe to work on. The area must be clean and any debris which could damage the membrane must be removed. Memtech Liquid Gas Barrier, LGB, is a liquid applied gas membrane. It can be used as a standalone gas barrier, or as is generally used, for detailing around penetrations, wall edges and column bases. You will require Memtech Liquid Gas Barrier and Memtech LGB Joint Tape. Protective personal equipment, appropriate to the product application and site, must be worn when using Memtech LGB. You will require a slow speed drill stirrer to agitate the product before use, and a brush, roller or airless sprayer, for application. Surfaces must be clean of all oil, release agents, dirt dust and debris. Any surface water should also be removed. The surface can be damp, but with no liquid water. Prior to application, the Memtech LGB should be stirred with a slow speed mixer, for three minutes, to ensure a uniform blend, and consistency to the product. The product is applied, in a minimum of two coats, and should be at least one millimeter thick, based on the two coat application. Each coat should be applied in the opposite direction to the first. Using a brush or roller, apply the LGB in an even coat directly onto the prepared substrate. The product is a light pink color when first applied, and dries to a dark red when cured. Where there are construction joints within the substrate, these should be detailed with the joint tape. This should be bedded into the first coat application, ensuring that it is flat and well bedded. When the first coat has cured and turned dark red, Apply the second coat in the opposite direction to the first. Allow the product to fully cure and protect whilst curing from rain or frost. If the application of Memtech LGB gets damaged, then this can easily be repaired by cleaning up the damaged area and then overcoating with a further two coats of LGB, extending at least 150 millimeters in all directions from the point of damage. Where Memtech Liquid Gas Barrier, LGB, has been used for detailing, and there is a requirement to link this to a loose laid sheet gas membrane, then the Memtech, Gas Tape 50, and Gas Over Tape 150, should be used to provide a suitable gas proof seal. Once the LGB has cured, measure a minimum of 100 mm from the outer edge of the application, and mark a line. This provides the minimum overlap between the LGB, and the sheet membrane. Ensure the joint on both the LGB and sheet membrane is clean and dry. At the midpoint between the edge and the measured 100 mm, place and seal the Memtech gas tape 50 to the LGB. Apply pressure to the tape using a seam roller. Carefully remove the backing paper from the tape. Now, Overlay the edge of the sheet membrane to the required minimum 100 mm overlap. Press firmly onto the sealing tape, and then using a seam roller, firmly seal the membrane to the tape and LGB.
Test the joint to ensure a good continuous seal. Once checked, and to minimize risk of the joint being damaged, apply the Memtech gas over tape 150 over the joint. Our final part of our installation is recording the work that we have done. This will require photographic evidence as a record to accompany the drawings. Use a sign-off sheet to quantify the amount of work which has been done.